Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. This week's video is going to be all about my favorite Sephardic Shabbat recipes. So come along with me, let's do our Shabbat preparations together. Now let's roll up our sleeves and let's get prepping. I like to start my prep by placing something into the stove or onto the stove top that is low maintenance so that I can be cooking away while I'm busy doing something else. Here I'm making boy john, which is a fire roasted eggplant that you mix with some garlic and it is absolutely delicious. While that's going, I'm placing in some eggs, carrots and potatoes to make my potato salad. Now that there are things cooking away on the stove top, I'll be concentrating on getting something into the oven. This way, I'm not wasting any time and I have multiple things going on at the same time. I set up my station and get started on making my roasted pepper salad. I wash and cut up a variety of different colored peppers and place them on a cooking tray. To the peppers, I add in some neutral type of oil, either vegetable oil or avocado oil will do, and then season everything with salt and black pepper. Rub everything together really well and place them skin side down. I place them into the oven on broil until they're browned, then flip them over and char the other side. At this point, my eggplant is soft after about 15 to 20 minutes and it is completely ready to come out. I found that it's important to immediately get the flesh out of the eggplant, otherwise it turns brown. So I'm just scooping all of it out now. I love how easy the cleanup is for this. You just take everything and throw it in the garbage. The vegetables and eggs are now all done as well and ready to be taken out of the water. Now I'm moving on to my next recipe of my Sephardic sweet chili lamb. It is really, really delicious. I'm using Idaho potatoes here. I'm going to be taking a baking tray, lining it with some parchment paper for easy cleanup, adding in as many potatoes as will fit, seasoning everything with some salt, black pepper, and some oil. I mix everything really well and line them in a single layer and I'm going to be adding in the lamb steaks over the top. This can obviously be done with any other cut of meat to your choice. You can use minute steaks if you prefer. I'm going to be seasoning the meat very simply with salt and black pepper and then some sweet chili sauce. As you can see, I'm not forgetting about the other side. I flipped everything over and did the exact same thing. And to prevent the natural juices from the meat and potatoes from burning, I like to add in about half a cup of water to the tray as well. 
I cover everything up with foil and place it in the refrigerator to be baked tomorrow after work. Simple roast chicken is up next and to give it a Sephardic flair, I add in some paprika, salt and black pepper. At times I add turmeric or harissa to make it extra special. I cover it with some oil and give it a shine. And once again, I'll be covering it up with some foil and placing it in the fridge to cook on Friday when I get home from work. This next dish, Sephardic green rice or bakhsh, is a staple in our house for Shabbat dinner. I start by washing two cups of short grain rice until the water runs clear. And because I'll need rice again for another dish, I'm going to take the time to do this step times two to save me time later on. After watching so many videos on cooking hacks and how to prevent your tears from when you're chopping your onions, I found something that finally works. You just have to take a wet paper towel, place it on your cutting board, and as simple as that, no more tears. You guys have to try it and let me know how it goes in the comments down below. I place the chopped onions into the tray and move on to the meat. I will need about two handfuls of meat here. I prefer to use lamb or beef. You can definitely use chicken. I separate out the bones and put them into my soup pot to make some delicious lamb soup. Again, to not waste any time, I will be filling the soup pot with water and get that cooking while I'm working on my bakhsh. I washed and cleaned a bunch of herbs. I have four bunches of cilantro here with a few sprigs of scallions that I will be chopping up. To season the bakhsh, I add in 1 tablespoon of chicken consomme, almost a full tablespoon of salt, and black pepper to taste. I then add in half a cup of water and half a cup of oil. I mix everything really well to combine it all. And you guessed it, I'm gonna cover it with a foil and place it into the refrigerator to be cooked tomorrow. Now back to our Sephardic lamb soup, it has come to a boil and I'll be adding in all of my favorite veggies that go with our soup, a whole onion, some celery, potatoes and carrots. And to season the soup, I do it to taste. I'm using some salt, chicken consomme, black pepper and bay leaves.
Cover with the lid and let it cook for about an hour. Using a food processor, I'm making our Sephardic chalant, which is called Osfo. It's an overnight stew. It has a green apple, onion, and a tomato inside. It gets all food processed, but you can definitely do this with a box grater. And into a pot, I add in two cups of short grain rice, some meat of choice, a quarter cup of oil, half a container of uh, tomato sauce, about four ounces of it, four to five cups of water and all of the processed veggies go in as well to season i add in one tablespoon of the chicken consomme and one tablespoon of salt i cover it with the lid and place it into my fridge to be cooked tomorrow night after work My new favorite Sephardic Moroccan fish is up next. To a skillet, I add in about four tablespoons of oil, some cilantro stems, five to six sliced garlic cloves, red and green jalapenos. You could add in as much or as little as you like. I, sa I saute that and then I add in about two tablespoons of tomato paste, a little bit of chickpeas, and I sprinkle on some salt and mix. In a separate bowl, I made the sauce, which consists of half a cup of oil and two heaping tablespoons of paprika and one tablespoon of turmeric and a sprinkling of cumin and coriander. Look at that gorgeous color. Add in your desired fish. I'm using salmon here and I squeeze in a little bit of lemon. I sliced up a whole lemon, squeezing that inside and then garnishing it with it over the top. Lastly, I tear up some cilantro leaves to garnish it. I cook that for 15 to 20 minutes, covered, and then it's all ready. Before I head on off to bed, I'm going to be taking those broiled peppers, placing them into a bowl, covering it up so it can steam, and this really helps with the removal of the skin. Friday after work, as soon as I walk in through the door, I place all of my food to bake that we have prepared the night before. My husband loves to bake, so I'll just be showing you a few things that he's made as he gets home earlier on Fridays than I do. My parents just arrived and brought with them stuffed cabbage, which is cooking away right over there. Soup is back on the stove to get reheated and the osvo is going as well. On Friday is when I finish up my Shabbat salads with their Sephardic flair. We are chopping up our potato salad here, adding in some pickles, dill, salt, and mayo. After about an hour and a half to two hours of cooking, most of our meals are finished cooking and it's time to take them out from the stove. This channel is all about my Orthodox Jewish life and I share here Shabbat meal preps and holiday inspirations and general tips and tricks as a busy working mom on how to manage the many things that are on our plate. And if you enjoy this kind of content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and join the prep family here on YouTube. To finish up our fire roasted eggplant from last night, which is the boy John, I'm going to be adding in some salt and crushed garlic. You obviously do this to taste. You could add as little or as much garlic and salt as you like. I then use my knife and chop everything up so it's all nice and smooth. Three generations in the kitchen. It just warms my heart. Now that the osvo has been cooking for about two hours, I'm covering it with parchment paper and adding in eggs to the top, which I will serve on Saturday for lunch. 
The garlic confit has become a favorite in our house. I clean about three to four heads of garlic, or you can just buy the peeled ones already from the store. I then add in oil halfway through covering it up and season it with salt, crushed red chili flakes, paprika, cumin, and coriander. Give everything a whirl, cover and bake at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. To make my shortcut matbucha, I chop up some green pepper, red chili peppers and tomatoes. These tomatoes weren't as ripe as I would have liked. I was a little bit disappointed about it, but they still came out okay because of all the seasonings that we put into this matbucha. If you guys have any tips on how to choose your tomatoes properly, let me know in the comments down below. I'm also slicing up about five to six garlic cloves. Into a skillet, I place in about three tablespoons of avocado oil and add in all of the veggies that I've just chopped up. I season it with salt, a good amount of paprika and harissa spice from Jamie Geller. While the matbucha is cooking away, I'm going back to our roasted pepper salad. So last night, I peeled off the skins, which was very easy to do because I steamed it when I covered it up after it was cooked. To that, I'm, I'm going to be now slicing up those peppers so to some manageable strips. I'm going to be adding in four to five cloves of sliced garlic, tons of cilantro, salt, and black pepper. I also then add in some vinegar and oil and just look at how gorgeous this salad comes out. A few hours before Shabbat starts, I take out my challah from the freezer. I usually make these on a Wednesday and freeze them straight away so that they remain nice and fresh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these Sephardic Shabbat recipes that I make for Shabbat dinner and Shabbat lunch. I hope you try them out in your home for your family and friends. Happy prepping! And Shabbat Shalom from my family to yours.